Um, well, it was, you know, both of us trained in England. We, um, he trained in RADA, I trained at the Weber Douglas Academy of um, Dramatic Arts, Weber D for short. And um, when we both came back in the early 80s, we realized that apart from the universities that were training um, practitioners in the performing arts, we really didn't have any academy that was not so um, theory driven. That we didn't have an academy that was practical driven as you have in other um, film industries in the world, whether you're talking about Bollywood, whether you're talking about um, Hollywood, whether you're talking about the British film, film um, industry, or whether we're talking about the French film industry. And you, you see for us, especially, you know, um, you know, uh, it's if, uh, as practitioners in our business, we're, it's a very practical driven industry. And so it's not really that theoretical. And we needed, so we felt that we needed that, that to bridge that gap between the university trained and the and and those who are working in the industry who don't who don't necessarily want to want to go to the university and yet get a proper academic qualification. So it's like a vocational institution. So that was why we started it, and we felt that there was a huge need for it. Um, there, there are a lot of people in the in the industry right now. Um, a lot of them have learnt on the job, which has been a bit, um, which has been made the process of us getting to that area of excellence pretty slow. Now, if you come, if you come to an academy like that, it makes it it, it makes it um, quicker, um, and. Um, even right, and then you know, the, the, un, unfortunately for us, for most of those who have been working in the, you know, in the industry and who have no training whatsoever, for a lot of them, because you know, sometimes the the media is there hyping hyping them, they don't realize that they really don't don't have the skill. They haven't gotten uh, a hang of the craft properly and yet they're not willing to come back to learn, which is a bit sad. So you think training is necessary for you to be an actor? It helps. It really does help. You can make your mistakes in quiet, you, you know, in a safe space. And, and, you know, get that sense of a continuous learner. You know, because they, like for us, when we started out, for my generation, when we started out, all this digital whatever didn't exist. Do you understand? But if you do not have that sense of being a learner, you then learn how to work with within that digital space. You know, what are the challenges that it brings to you, that that it um, that it brings to you, the performer? How do you deal with those challenges? You know, and and what are the new techniques that have come out from those who have been practitioners before you, who are practitioners at the moment? You know, what are the new techniques that have come out for you as a performer, for you as a technical person? You know, so that um, I, I think training is so key. There are some I was at Unilag yesterday and um, O.C. Ukeje was one of the presenters inducting the new entrance into the creative arts department and one of the things he said was that when he started out, he started out, yes he was working, he won, um, I think um, it was Amstel Malta, um, you know, the reality show, he won it, got to do a film and all that, but then he found that getting work was 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 a bit challenging and then he he spoke to somebody and the person said look you've got to train just even if it's even if it's a short course and he went away to the new york film academy did some training came back uh, you know his his the the talent had been honed and so he he stood a cut above the rest and that's what training does for you if you go to a good training institute that's what will happen